What's up everyone, my name is Arthur West and today I am super excited to show you Editor X. It's a no-code website building tool that allows you to work with data, members, and a whole number of other things. But today I am gonna show you how you can create a data-driven website in a matter of minutes. So whether you're building a blog, a portfolio, e-commerce, or anything in between, you can work with data really easy with Editor X and it makes it super simple to spin up data-driven pages. Let's go in and show you how this all works. All right, and let's go ahead and get into it. So we have landed on Editor X and we have started to create a new site. When you build a new site with Editor X, it guides you through this process of pointing you towards like a theme or a template that might work for your use case. But today, we are gonna start completely from scratch just to show you how you don't really need any template or theme to start building beautiful data-driven websites. So down in the bottom right here, we're just gonna go ahead and click skip, but just know that you can use their guided experience to help find a template that would be good for your use case. There's a ton of really beautiful themes that you can use in their marketplace. We're gonna go ahead and click start from scratch, and this is gonna spin up the Editor X Studio or the Editor X Editor. So once this comes up here, there's really nothing on the page. There's just some basic site elements, which every site would have, which would be a header, a body, and then this footer down here. So I'm gonna move myself out of the way, and I'm gonna guide you through some of the parts of this Editor X Studio to show you how this is done. So across the top here, you sort of have this menu where you can add elements, you can look at your different layers, you can look at your site masters, which are like reusable components, you can see your site pages, the site styles, an app market, which is super cool, we'll do another video on that, and then you have your content manager as well. So we're gonna go ahead and choose content manager. As you can see, a content manager easily allows you to add dynamic site content to your page. You can build custom forms to allow your users to edit the content in the site. It's super powerful, but today we're just gonna build a basic data-driven site. So we're gonna go ahead and click add to site. And what this is gonna do is it's going to present us with a couple different options in terms of what kind of content that we want to pull into our site. So we're gonna just choose projects here because this is, gives us some nice imagery as well as some text and it looks really nice and sort of this like waterfall cascading style. So we'll go ahead and click add to site. And this is what's really cool about Editor X. It actually builds all the pages and styles that you'll need to start using this as well as sets you up with a basic database collection. So if we take a look here, it's actually created this content collection of different types of projects. As you'll see, there are titles, there are descriptions, there are images, there's a, like a, another description, a shorter description, what order it appears on the page, as well as the, the URL and the, and the link. So you can also just very easily add other type of fields to your site. They have everything here from reference to multi-reference to URL, to document, to video, to audio, to arrays, objects, uh, rich text, boobings, there's just a ton that you can add. But I just wanted to show you that it spun up this collection automatically. You could of course go ahead and select everything, delete all the content out of here because it's just filler content and then add your own. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna leave this content in here because it'll serve as a really nice example of how quickly you can build these pages. If I exit out of here, the only pages that we have on our site is this home page, and then we have this page that was automatically created with dynamic content. So as you can see, these are our projects page, this is our projects page, and the content that's in our collection is actually connected to this page. You can see this little data connector here is what's handling this connection. If we go ahead and click manage content, it brings us right back into here. So now if we, let's just say, wanted to choose a different image, we can come into uh, this sort of like media manager where there's a bunch of stock images we can upload our own media, but I'll just go ahead and choose another image here and I'll click update. This image now has been updated in our collection. And if we hop back to our site and we preview this, 
this image has already been updated here. So as you can see, we are already working with dynamic content. These fields here, they map to the fields in our collection. And let me show you how these connections work. If you hover over any of these cards in the repeater, let's just say this one here, there's this menu bar that comes up where you can do a ton of things from like animations to linking, manage the breakpoints, all that type of thing, but it actually says connected to data. So if we click this connected to data button, it brings up all of the connection items that this piece of content has. So it's currently connected to our project's data set, which is our only data set on our page. The image source connects to the project image. The alt text, can, connects to the title, the tooltip is not connected because there's not a tooltip, and then the link connects to the project title. So if we wanted to change any of this, let's just say we wanted to change the project image and we had like another image field, we could actually just choose choose which image field we wanted to here. Now there's no other choices because it's actually recognizing which fields are image fields and it sees that there's only one image field. So it's only giving us one option to connect to an image. Let me show you what this would look like if we actually added a new collection that was an image field. We would have a choice of the second image field here. So let me go ahead and add this. What type of field do we want to call this? Let's just say this is image two and we can actually add this to our collection just like that. And there's no images in our images to collection. That's why all of these cards updated automatically to show just sort of like the placeholder image here because there's no images in our collection. If we go back to our collection and we manage our content here, we can go to projects and we can see that this new field image two has been added, but there's not any content. You can actually just drag and drop these fields, these columns, which is super nice. If we added imagery to these fields, let's go ahead and just add a couple different images here. Let's go ahead and do three. Great, so now if we hop back to our site, we, once this updates here, Yep, we now have three images. These are showing as broken links because we don't have images mapped. To, we don't have six images basically in our database. So it would be really easy if we said, oh, well, we wanted to use our original image collection. We could just click this connected to data. This is the repeater here that controls all the content in this block. We can choose this image too. We can move this back actually to project image and now um, as soon as this updates you'll see now our repeater has six images so really quickly we are working with live data and we're connecting it and mapping it to the fields in our database something else that i want to show you you're not even though we picked this original style here of these cards we're not locked into this style you can change all the sort of uh all the elements and all the settings of this section. You can also quickly uh, change this maybe to a list if you prefer a list. You can restyle this, of course, to make the images smaller if you would like. We could also change this to a slider if we perf prefer a slider and we get a slider here. There's grid cells. Um, so there's just like a ton of different options, ton of different layouts. And then of course you can uh, change all the spacing and the sizing and everything like this in the settings of the site. So in just a matter of a few minutes, we went ahead and we connected our data to our site and spun up this dynamic page. I love how Editor X will actually go ahead and create the page for us automatically and dynamically. So we don't even need to create a data different page. We can edit all of the content like the header in here, but I just wanna show you how this all works. Thank you.